Uh, first of all, I'm ex-GDST myself, a high school girl from Brighton and Hope High. And I think it's just a wonderful initiative, a really contemporary initiative. Um, it's a challenge, it's a huge challenge for the girls. And I think it's something that they're going to treasure for life. And the standard of the films was so high that I think one or two of them will definitely go into the film industry. One of the things that the Girls' Day School Trust Education does is to build a kind of confidence in women um, and also to try and find their own voice and to go against the grain, to be not necessary to follow the rules. In my day, um, in my particular case, it was, it was particularly difficult because I had a place at Oxford and I turned it down in order to, and I, girls don't do this, in order to run away from home and go get myself a scholarship at RADA, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. I started as an actor. Um, then after about 10 years as an actor, um, I decided it actually was not really quite a narrow life. I was playing all these amazing people, or very ordinary people, and my life was simply either rehearsing, performing, writing letters for the next job, but I wasn't living the life that I needed in order to research his characters. So I woke up one day and I gave myself 10 years away and to live as broad a life as possible, which is what I've been saying. And I then came back um, and did what I should have done in the first place, which was go to Oxford. And while I was at Oxford, I went back into um, the industry as a director. Yeah, I think they should try and lead as broad a life as possible. Um, my own personal view, and it is a very personal view, is that if possible, don't do a media studies course and don't do a drama course. Um, go to university, but you know, you can do anything from classics to social sciences. Anthropology is a very good thing to do if you're going into filmmaking. Um, rather than going cutting yourself off too early, you need as broad a view of life as possible. I can't wait to see them on the big screen. That's going to be really exciting and exciting for them too. And I'm looking forward to meeting them because so far they've been anonymous um, and we've just seen their work. So it'll be quite fun to put names to faces and things. Thank you so much for coming and thanks for talking to us as well. Thank you. That's lovely. Thank you.